The Duke will go to the line with 12.7 seconds left and a chance to make it a two-possession game. Duke has now hit 13 out of 16 as a team. Clemson is 10 out of 11. For Clemson, that is tremendous. Well, again, it was all about the defense for Duke at critical times. They're able to make some stops, force Clemson out of the rhythm, and in that last 40-something seconds, force the timeout and still allow Clemson to run their set. Henderson is only a 60% free throw shooter, but he hits his first. That makes it a two-possession game. And now more than ever, I think if you can race down the floor, you go for the two because they're not going to foul. No, they'll let you have any shot you want. 12.7 seconds left in a five-point game. Looks like Clemson just going to set up for the other oh, game. McRoberts backed off. They get the layup with five seconds to go. Duke inbounds. Knocks it down. Holy mackerel. Another misfire. McRoberts threw the ball, and it's hard to tell who was at fault. Paulus moved, and the ball went sailing right to Hamilton for an uncontested three-point shot. So Duke will have an opportunity here. Shire. Straight down the middle and nobody in front of the basket. 